Здравствуйте, с вами Михаил Кириченко. Вы смотрите новости Skyway, в которых мы рассказываем вам о разработках и внедрении прорывных транспортных технологий. Сегодня мы с вами посетим немецкую железнодорожную компанию Locomore. Вот их э, логотип, их название. Э, здесь на выставке в Берлине и на Транс 2016 стоит их продукция, можно так сказать. Почему они нам интересны? Потому что они для финансирования своей деятельности используют то же самое, что и э, наш проект, то есть э, краудфандинг. Вот своего рода, наверное, обмен опытом сейчас и должен произойти. Нас ждет директор компании и один из специалистов, занимающихся адресными проектами. Сейчас мы их найдем, где-то они нас должны ждать. По крайней мере, обещали. Время нам назначено в пятницу в 3 часа. Вот они, вот они, вот они. Не обманули, что приятно. Hello, friends. Hello. My name is Michael. Николас, Derek. It's a pleasure to come to know you. Um, uh, first of all, um, Uh, let me tell you about our company. Uh, we represent uh, the project called Skyway. We are uh, designing and implementing the new transportation technology, the rail stream technology, which uh, resembles uh, uh, railways. And uh, it is interesting to share our opinions and experience on crowdfunding that we utilize to finance our operations and we know that you are doing the same. Is that true or am I mistaken? Well, well we are a private operator. Uh, we want to run a new train between Berlin and Stuttgart for passengers on long distance and uh, we finance it uh, via crowdfunding. Uh, and uh, do you need a lot of uh, money to raise uh, using this uh, lever? Well, we we have already raised more than half a million euros for for startup the operation, which is for us uh, it's 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 a bit more than a minimum, but we need we need some more money. So we uh, our crowdfunding is still uh, still ongoing here on the inner trans, and uh, you can support us by buying some <laughs> catches like uh, cups uh, or something like that or ticket vouchers or even if you really are convinced about what we are doing you can also uh, um, support us with uh, micro loans where you for five five years give us risk capital uh, people that invest money in your project do they uh, become shareholders in your company or not or what do they get in return No, if they um, if they in, investing in a ticket voucher, then they get very good uh, conditions to travel with us. But they are not shareholders, and also if they are get uh, give us a micro loan, they are not shareholders. Uh, they they are loan holders, uh, and and they they get information rights about what we are doing from the business development. And, and we have the obligations to, to pay the interest uh, in, in time uh, and so they are support us but they are and every, uh, everything what, what they may feedback us on our product and our product uh, development is, is very welcome for us and we, we then check that and discuss it and if we think well there's a new good idea we, we haven't heard before and, and we are convinced and we incorporate it into our product development um, but they are at the end there are no shareholders the shareholders are we, we are about 20, 20 private shareholders uh, and all more or less independent no, no 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 bigger companies involved or so and i think that's also very important uh, at the, the 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 management of a, of a startup they they need uh, the, the the opportunity well, to to decide with, uh, with the liberty to decide so 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 a, a construction where the crowd funders are all getting shareholders it's uh, i think in a startup process not very good because uh, y yeah you need to uh, to have the opportunity to react very fast and and if you have too much structure in there in the decision making uh, that's not very good for a startup 
thank you. Uh, what's the attitude toward uh, shareholding, uh, or well, not shareholding, crowd investing, crowdfunding in Germany? I ask because in my country, <clears throat> very often different people think that if you are gathering uh, money from different people and promising them something in return, you are kind of not a very honest person. You are a crook. You want to. Uh, take advantage of these people. Is it the same in Germany or is it quite normal uh, to resort to crowdfunding and crowd investing in Europe? Maybe you can answer. Who will? Yeah, I can. Um, well, in general, the, the general term is crowdfunding in, 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 in Germany and but uh, that that included then, then, then sub terms like crowd investing uh, but uh, also, uh, well, things where more social projects are supported with, this, with this more or less crowdfunding. Um, so, well, and, and I think it, it, uh, it depends on, uh, in Germany you have a lot of um, crowdfunding platforms. So we also, uh, for the startup of our crowdfunding process, we used uh, the platform Startnext, uh, where we have to do a, a, well, a project check um, and so that uh, they are the, the crowd funders uh, have a certain uh, credibility. credibility about the, uh, about the project so and uh, yeah so so I think that's that's something very uh, very important and and so there are several platforms in in, in, in Germany which are all will uh, grow a lot there are there are more and more uh, projects uh, also finance and also financed about uh, also with bigger bigger volumes not only small volumes but also small smaller smaller ideas uh, they are yeah they are more and more um, financed uh, via crowdfunding if it is growing this process if it's all transparent like in our case uh, we are transparent as well then I figure out this process, I mean crowdfunding, crowd investing, etc., is considered to be absolutely normal and legal in Germany. Am I right? Yes, that's that, that generally right. But at the end, but the end, uh, the 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 people who are supporting, they will decide at the end if they if they trust if they trust the structures if they trust trust. The, 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 the companies who are who are well preventing them and that's the at the end I think also also in Germany it's, it's a, a process over the last five years where these these see this sector are are growing and growing but well and, and at the same time trust into the structures are growing and I think that's an, a normal grow process also in other countries which is necessary i, I, I would um, add here it's considered legal definitely um whether it's considered normal i mean uh, people Usual. people are uh, they are very surprised that you can actually crowdfund a railway company we are the first one it's not something that happens um often um so it's it's certainly That's it's why certainly we are interviewing <laughs> you because you we are the first ones too. <laughs> yes, it, 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 this will come more, but and it will kind of it will bring in new opportunities um, because uh, venture capital doesn't always work, for example, or, the, or other financing methods. But I wouldn't call it normal yet. Um, so if, uh, yeah, it's my my amen. Thank you. Uh, I would like to tell you that uh, we have a lot of uh, viewings, a lot of spectators, so to say, and. Um, the average of 10,000 people are watching every news report that we produce. So, uh, all these people will sure uh, know about your company. Is there anything else you would like to tell all those people that I haven't yet asked you about? Uh, no, no, I think no. But 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 overall, I, I wish every entrepreneur a lot of luck to to start our business and and, and be successful. And uh, hopefully, he will find out the the best way to 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 to, to finance and 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 run and start up uh, the company and to well to bring his ideas into reality. 
Yeah, and of course uh, concerning Locomore, um, everybody is welcome to have a look at uh, our website, uh, locomore.com. Um, it's also in English, um, and we have a lot of questions answered there, and it is still possible to give us, to support us with microloans. So we are very open that we, for that, um, also from the international side. Thank you very much. Uh, we wish you success as well. And hopefully uh, both our companies uh, could benefit from this interview, from this exhibition, and I wish you a successful continuation of your business and a successful InnoTrans 2016. Thank you for the interview. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. To you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Ну что же, вы видели, все слышали. Прекрасный метод развития бизнеса – краудфандинг и краудинвестинг, как а, разновидность его. В Германии появилась первая компания, уважаемая железнодорожная компания, которая, конечно же, а, поскольку занимается уже устоявшимся видом транспорта, нуждается в меньших инвестициях, чем мы. Мы совсем пионеры этого дела, и без вас – нам никуда. Поэтому подписывайтесь на наш канал YouTube, следите за обновлениями новостей на официальном сайте международной группы компании Skyway по адресу rsvdefistsms.com Поддерживайте наш проект Вместе мы непобедимы Строй Skyway Спасай планету